This is Mama Lu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, the graphical method of solving a system of linear equations, as I discussed in one of my videos, involves a long method of solving a system of linear equation. Minsan, it becomes inconvenient for the students to use the graphical method. Bakit? Minsan kasi, the system involves fraction na kung saan nahihirapan tayo kadalasan to read it accurately from the graph. So today, I'm going to teach you another method of solving a system of linear equation. And that is by substitution. Okay, so let's try to solve this system of equations using substitution. So we have 7x plus 2y equals 7. 4x minus y is equal to 4. Okay, so ang first step natin dito ay to solve one of the equations for one variable in terms of the other. Okay, so if possible, ang pipiliin natin ay yung equation kung saan we can avoid fraction. Okay, so here, obviously, ang pipiliin natin ay itong equation 2. Alright? Why? Because we have here a variable na kung saan ang coefficient niya ay 1 or negative 1. So, we choose the equation which has a variable with a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. Okay, so we write 4x minus y equals 4. So, we are going to solve for y. So, negative y is equal to, we're going to transpose it or you're going to subtract negative 4x in this side. So, we decide. So, we have negative 4x plus 4. Okay, now, your y is negative. We make this positive by multiplying it by negative 1. So, this is negative 1 times negative y is y is equal to negative 1 times negative 4x is positive 4x. Negative 1 times positive 4 is negative 4. Okay, now, the equation that you obtain here, no, the value for y will be substituted to y in the first equation. So, we have 7x plus 2y equals 7. 7x plus 2 then y, y will be this one. So, y becomes 4x minus 4 equals 7. So, this is 7x plus 2 times 4x is 8x. Alright. Minus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 equals 7. So, 7x plus 8x, that is 15x equals 7, all right? That is plus 8. So, 15x is equal to, what is 7 plus 8? All right, that is 15. So, to get the value of x, you divide by 15, divide by 15. So, 15 and 15 is cancelled. So, x is equal to 1. Okay, then to solve for the other variable, to solve for y, you are going to use this resulting equation in step 1. Okay, so y is equal to 4x minus 4. Since your x is 1, substitute natin dito. So y is equal to 4 times 1 minus 4. y is equal to? 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4. What is 4 minus 4? 
Alright, that is 0. So, y is 0. Then, x is 1. So, therefore, the solution is 1, 0. Okay? Now, if you want to make sure kung tama yung sagot, you can check this value. You can substitute this point dito in the first equation and the second equation. If the result is true, then the solution is correct. Okay, example number 2. x minus 2y equals 18. x plus 11y equals 5. So, we're going to solve this system. This is our first equation and this is our second equation. Okay, so we are very lucky here dahil parehas na equation natin contains a variable wherein the coefficient is 1. So, pwede natin gamitin maski alin dyan. Okay, let's try to use the first equation. So, x minus 2y equals 18. Solving for x in terms of y. So, x is equal to, we transpose this on the other side. So, that is 2y plus 18. Okay? So, we're going to substitute this expression on the second equation. So, x plus 11y equals 5. Substituting that for x, so we have 2y plus 18 plus 11y equals 5. So, naging y na lang, ano? So, we, are go, uh, we have expressed this equation in terms of one variable only. So, 2y plus 11y, that is 13y equals 5 minus 18. Alright? So, 13y is equal to negative 13. So, divided by 13, divided by 13. So, y is negative 1. So, you already have a value for y which is negative 1. And then, substituting this value of y in your obtained uh, equation in the first step. So, x my equals 2y plus 18. x is equal to 2 times your y is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 18. So, x is equal to... Alright, that is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 18. So, x is 16. Okay? So, our solution is 16 negative 1. Okay, let's solve the third example. So, this will be the last example. Solve the system... 2x plus 5y equals negative 3. 4x plus 3y equals 1. Okay, this is our first equation. This is our second equation. Okay, you will see that walang variable na kung saan the coefficient is 1. No? So, therefore, ayan, we cannot avoid, we cannot avoid fractions. So, let us choose the first equation. So, we have 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 3. Then, we're going to solve one variable in terms of the other. Halimbawa, pinili natin ang x. So, we have here 2x is equal to negative 5y minus 3. To solve for x, you are going to divide by 2, divide by 2, so, therefore, x equals negative 5y minus 3 over 2. So, we really cannot avoid fractions. So, you don't have to be afraid with fractions. Madali lang yan. Okay, so, next equation, we have 4x plus 3y equals 1. Using this expression that we have obtained no, in step 1, na kung saan meron niyang fraction. So, i-substitute natin ito for x dito. Para maging y na lang yung natitira. So, we have 4. This is negative 5y minus 3 over 2 plus 
3y equals 1. Okay? So, that's 4 over 1. So, we are going to multiply. We can cancel 2. 2 and 4, the common factor is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, naging 1 yun. Then, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 2 yun. So, we have 2 times negative 5y is negative 10y. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Plus, 3y equals 1. So, naging y na lang. Wala na si x. Alright, naglaho na si x. So, negative 10y plus 3y is negative 7y equals 1. Alright, plus 6. So, negative 7y is equal to 7. Divided by negative 7. Divided by negative 7. So, cancel. So, y equals, alright, that is negative 1. Now, using this value, y here in the obtained uh, equation in step 1. So, x equals negative 5y minus 3 over 2. So, x is equal to negative 5. Y is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 over 2. So, X equals negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5 minus 3 over 2. So, X is 5 minus 3 over 2. Ano ba 5 minus 3? Okay, that is 2. So, 2 over 2 or 1. So, therefore, our solution is 1, negative 1. Okay, so nakita nyo, napakadali lang gamitin ng substitution method. So, I hope na naintindihan nyo yung lesson natin, solving the system of linear equation by substitution method. Next video will be solving a system of linear equation by elimination. Bye guys!